these paragraphs she refers to her father as the most lovable father one could get his father married her mother when he was at the age of 36 and she was 25 she and her sister margaret were both born in frankfurt as soon as anne turned 4 her father moved to holland followed by her mother in september while both the sisters stayed with their grandmother in aachen margaret was also sent to holland in december followed by annie in february who was brought as a birthday present for margaret in holland and was sent to montessori nursery school it was her first school she started from first form she had mrs cupris the headmistress as her teacher in sixth form who even cried at the time of farewell In 1941 the author's birthday could not be celebrated well because her grandmother fell ill and underwent an operation. Unfortunately, her grandmother left them in January 1942 and misses her grandmother more than anyone knows. This year's birthday was to be celebrated with great zeal so as to compensate for last year's. She then mentions that her family is doing well with some sub her background and brings her to the present date of June 20 1942 when she is writing her diary now read these questions and answers On June 20, 1942, Annie begins writing in her diary addressing it as her friend Kitty. She mentions how her entire class is nervous about their results. It is unpredictable and will be decided by a meeting of teachers in which they will select students to be moved to next class or kept back. Many students were making bets. Some had put in their entire summer savings at stake. She and her friend G also made fun of the nervous boys. They kept on saying to each other that I am not going to pass, while others would console them and say, "Yes, you would." G was polite as she tried to stop them from making noise, while Annie scolded them, but none of it worked. According to Annie, about a quarter of class should not be allowed to pass because they hardly respond to take part in any of the activities. She refers to them as dummies. but this may not be the case because teachers decisions cannot be predicted in the next paragraph the author says that she is not bothered about her friends because she is sure that they will pass the only subject that she is unsure about is mathematics she seems to be having a tough time with the subject but all they could do was to wait for the results without losing their hope In the next paragraph she tells how she has a great relationship with all her teachers except the max professor he was constantly irritated by the author's talkativeness despite several warnings and did not stop talking in his classes which prompted him to give her extra homework as punishment the first one was to write an essay on chatterbox which she thought was a weird topic to write on because what could one write about that for the moment she wrote the topic in her notebook kept it in her bag and focused on staying quiet in the next paragraph we can see the author came across a note she made as reminder for the essay after she had finished the rest of her homework She began thinking about the topic while chewing the tip of my fountain pen is a gesture that signifies a person is in deep thinking while anyone could mention random stuff written for the sake of filling pages she wanted to present concrete arguments in support of talking she mentioned that she will try to better herself as a student but talking is something that cannot be eliminated completely this is because She got it as an inherited trait from her mother and this is how she ended up writing 3 pages on the topic.